Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back to do a really cool painting with you today. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a monarch butterfly swipe and I really loved how it turned out. And I started thinking about all of the beautiful butterflies out there. I may add a little bit of Aztec gold in there too, just to make sure that we kind of get that, that contrast. You can see there's just a tiniest bit of orange. I do have some golden pyrrole orange that I thought I would add just a tiny bit. And then I am going to bump up the blue. Um, I'm using mineral blue as well as metallic blue. And um, some of the other pictures that I had found had a lot more blue in them. So um, we're gonna add some blue along with those beautiful yellows and we're gonna use a black cell activator. So hopefully we can get this really cool webbing effect like you see in the picture. We are working on the four by 12 canvas. This is that cute little canvas that I like from Michaels. And I've got my pillow paint. This is the Valspar 2000 that I'm using today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a nice pillow down here. I don't want it to ooze over the side. So hopefully I can get the right amount on here and get enough color so that we can stretch it and cover the sides without losing all of our really great effects. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more here and we'll see what she does. So I'm kind of using like the pseudo swipe technique um, to do this. I am not going to put down, I'm gonna put my paint down a little bit differently today. So kind of more of the pseudo swipe style. Um, if you guys are already taking Shelly's course, um, or if you watch Shelly on YouTube, she's kind of um, been doing this pseudo swipe lately, and I think it's just really beautiful. Um, so this is the Azo Nickel Gold, and I think I will put it kind of in the middle here. I want to make sure that I get enough of it so that it's really represented well. And... I'm gonna put just a little bit of orange. Like I said, I don't want a ton of it, but I do want a little hint of it just like it is on the butterfly. So I think we'll just put that over here on the edges a little bit of this color, just to make sure that we can see it, perhaps just a little bit right in here. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure that I have color all over the canvas. Um, and then the next thing that I want to add is some of that mineral blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the sides of the gold. And as I said, the picture that I showed you didn't have a lot of blue in it, but the other pictures that I've seen do have more blue. So maybe the male has more blue in it, I would probably guess, because it seems like in nature, all of, the, all of the boys have all the pretty colors, don't they? And the girls are just kind of faded into the background so that they're not a big attraction to predators. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more blue right down here. And I wanna add some blue up here. There we go. And then I do think I wanna add just a tiny bit of my Aztec gold. And I kinda of feel like I probably should've put some of that blue up into the gold too. So we'll see here. I don't know, maybe not. I think as we swipe it though, it will definitely get some of that going. All right, just gonna add in that beautiful metallic. And then hopefully this kind of helps us to achieve those different tones of yellow. There we go. All right, so the next thing I want to do then is to get my cell activator poured out on my surface. I should have, kind of trying to decide if we need a little bit more blue. I kind of feel like I want just a little bit more here down on the bottom. Because I feel like that's a really big stripe of gold that we have going there. And maybe just a little bit more right here. All right. I'm kind of losing a little bit of my paint over the side, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get my paint out of the way here so I don't make a big old mess. And then I've got my black cell activator. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that over here on the side. And I've got my little business card ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip that into the cell activator. Got a nice amount on there. And then we're just gonna swipe through and see if we can get some cool stuff going. 
And then I want to swipe through a different direction. And I do think I wanna go through that middle too. And I kind of feel like I want to start here and go out this direction. Because I like the heavy concentration of black and the cool cells that it creates. So I think we'll do one more. And I think we'll go up this way with it. And see if we can kind of intersect this line. Maybe just curve it a bit. Now this is pretty heavy, so I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and re-swipe and connect it in with that other one, just like that. Very cool. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, when we start to stretch this out, this will get much lighter and much more butterfly-like. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit here and kind of do its thing a little bit and see what we get. All right, I think I wanna add one more swipe right here, just because I really want it to represent that pretty gossamer look of a butterfly wing. There we go. And perhaps just swipe this down right here. Get just a few more cells. Kind of feel like I should swipe right here too. Just a tiny bit maybe. Now I didn't dip the whole card in, I just kind of dipped a little bit of a corner of it. And might just kind of bring this out. I think that's kind of one of the downsides to where you touch the cell activator to the painting, you get like a heavy concentration. So don't be afraid to go back in and maybe pull a little bit more. I definitely am getting this covered over here and I guarantee you I am on this side too. Yep, the paint's kind of oozing over the sides. All right, so I feel like we have a good kind of butterfly wing effect going. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt off this side first just because there's not a lot of fun stuff going on in this corner, which is just fine because this will allow me to get the edges and the corner covered. So just gonna kinda go ahead and let that slide over the side a bit. I do wanna try and get my webbing over on this end because you'll find when you're doing the Shelly Art style, if you can get that lacing to go over the edge, it'll kinda hang on to it for you. And then while I'm down here with the weight of the paint, I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it down over this corner. And then I'm just gonna kinda let it hang there a second. I just kind of take some of this paint right off the bottom while my finger's right there. Same way with this corner. And just kind of let it get painted while we're down there. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and slide down to this other end. There's a lot of orange there. I didn't feel like I really had that much orange on there, but boy, she sure took over, didn't she? But that's okay. I don't think the orange that we have going on this other end will, will really take over. I think it'll probably end up tipping off. But I can see that we really have that two-tone effect. I think that was a great idea to put that Aztec gold in with the Azo, or the Azo nickel gold because I think we really do have that two-tone effect of the yellow and the butterfly wings. So I'm just slowly letting it creep over the end down here. I don't want to lose all of my blue on that corner. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it back upright and let it kind of stretch down before I just tip off more of my color. And then I'm going to go ahead and tip towards the top because I do need to, I'd kind of like to get rid of some of that orange and I definitely need to cover this end on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of let that paint come down so that I can get this corner covered. Just like that. And you can see that I got rid of that orange too. All right. 
Do need to try to cover that other side just a tiny bit more if I can. So I'm just gonna let that sneak over the side. And then I kind of want to bring this back down and see if I can stretch a tiny bit more. Sorry guys. I'm trying to keep you in view and yet try to get this to do what I want it to do. I love that blue and gold together. It's so pretty. I kind of feel like the other side stretched out a bit more than I wanted it to. And I feel like I have some really great webbing on this one end, but I feel like it kind of faded out on the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can stretch this down a little bit further. And perhaps stretch out those so a little bit more. I think I'm gonna try and do a severe tilt here. So you can see this end looks really amazing. This end is a little bit faded and that orange almost looks pink now. How crazy is that? So I'm gonna see if I can't stretch this down a little bit more. And get that webbing down here a tiny bit more. All right, let me set this down so you can see. Very cool. Okay, so I think um, in the end, for as much blue as I put on there, there's really not as much blue um, still on the painting. So um, I think this has turned out really cool. I wish the orange was a little bit deeper orange, but as it dries, it'll probably deepen up a little bit. Um, I feel like we really have some butterfly looking wings on this right side. And I really love that blue and gold together. It is quite the shimmery, beautiful painting. I, that is the one, my one regret with this type of painting for you guys is that I wish you could really see how beautiful it is in person because they, the colors and the pigments are just spectacular. But unfortunately, there's no way for me to show you just how amazing they really are. So I guess you'll just kind of have to take my word for it and hope that you try this and you see it for yourself. Um, I will put a link to the class down um, in the description, just in case you're interested in learning more about the Shelley art style than what I've already shown you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. There is a video that I did um, in the beginning of my Shelly Art videos that has all of the recipes and um, what my measurements are for all of the different materials I use. And I will list that as well so that you can kind of take a look at that and reference it in case you're kind of struggling with this technique. Maybe that will help answer some questions for you. So I'll see if I can't find another butterfly for us to use for inspiration for another painting. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.